So, games played, 46 for Liverpool. Wolves, 46 as well. I, I, I want to point that out because the rise is actually with Wolves. You're coaching there as well. We can see the average days of rest. Now, one thing which isn't on the screen, we can see Wolves there, 4.27. But Wolves have started their season way before anybody else That's in right. July because of the Europa League qualifiers. We saw the adverse effect it had on Burnley last season. It was a bit of a sluggish start for Wolves this season. So how is it handled by Nuno Espirito Santos and, and the whole squad and the team? And this is why I say it's about the backroom staff and how you handle it. They'll be aware that these fixtures um, are going to be a problem. They will be aware of when these fixtures are. So they've got to plan or they have planned in advance the strategy to, to make sure players recover, make sure they make full use of the small or limited squad that they've got. And players, once they've got it in their head and they know what the plan is, I mean, they can work it out what they need to do. Did you ever feel knackered on the pitch, say, within 30 minutes of the game kicking off, personally from your experience? Uh, no. Uh, not personally, no. I think it's definitely psychological. Um, I think it's something that you think about a lot after the game's over and I think it's something which is um, you feel a lot more if you've lost. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think that ultimately you're going out to win football matches and you always feel a lot better if you go out there and you get a result. You go into the next game with as much you know, um, energy as, as you went into the last one. Two things for me. One is that the more the coaches talk about it being a problem, the bigger it becomes as a problem. So I think coaches just need to go quiet about it, to be honest with you. Just, just get on with it. Can I that's also, also go on, ask... Go on then. Go, uh, there's something we're discussing slightly off-air just now, but I think it's quite pertinent to bring up. Do players even lie to play football on a Saturday or Wednesday night or Tuesday night for the Champions League? Will you say, I'm fit, when really you're not? Uh, I, th I think, personally, players mm. will. If they can be on that pitch... Yeah. And it's a, a case of saying, yes, I'm fit or no, I'm not. They'll always say, yes, I'm fit and get themselves on the pitch. They'll trust in themselves and they'll probably think to themselves, if anything goes wrong, I'll have to stick my hand up and, and, yeah. and, and come off. It's not a great thing. And I think this is where the backroom staff, again, you've got to know your players. You've got to know them better than ever. You've got to know when they're lying. You've got to know them inside out. You've almost got to be able to tell them you're not fit enough to play. And with the, yeah. the sports science and the, the devices that they've got nowadays, that can tell. Yeah. My first season at Spurs, I played 56 times that season. I don't remember it being a particular problem. I know the game is different now, but also so is the preparation and the, the sports science and everything behind it. Also, when I was at Spurs, I remember playing two games in consecutive days, and I've written it down. At Spurs, at Brighton, we played on the 26th of December one year, Boxing Day, we played away against Leicester, 1-1-0. One, one, 24 hours later, we played at home against Crystal Palace, 1-3-2. We weren't tired after having played two games and, as Darius said, won two games.